Island Newcastle sits alone watching YouTube videos on his computer when suddenly he hears an all too familiar cry for help. There is no expectation of privacy in public. There's no need to fear. Hezokai is here. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel over by there. And today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of douche canoes, Mr. Ghost Haha -ha, and Casey Camera Boy. And we're specifically going to focus on how Mr. Ghost tells all these lies and lies and lies, particularly focusing on a lie that he tells specifically for the purpose of trying to destroy someone's career. But before we get into that, I wanted to quickly show this thing because I thought it was hilarious. I'm going to show a clip from a video by I Am Free Inland Auditing Media. These guys always like to hoop and holler about how we need to educate the people that when we walk into a building, they need to ignore the person with the camera and just let us film and leave us alone. They need to ignore us. So he walks into the water district and they ignore him in glorious fashion. It's beautiful. Mwah. I love it. I thought it was hilarious. I figured I'd share it with you guys. Check it out. Hello. Yeah, no sweat. No rush. No rush. I got a question for you. Can I get a public? Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now, our feature presentation. Now, today, I'm taking my buddy, my sidekick, my partner in crime, KC Camera Boy. We're going to venture into the Burbank Airport. This is a historic airport, has a lot of history and stories behind it. So we're just gonna go in, do our thing, record what we see, record what we have, record whatever happens. We have no influence. We do not condone or encourage any type of behavior, guys. We are just gonna go in and document how people wanna react. It's how people wanna react. Run, run, bold face, lie. Ah, 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 ah. No influence. They absolutely influence the way people react. Just the way you're dressed when you walk in the door is going to have an influence on how people react to seeing you dressed like that, let alone the things you say. So that's lie number one. Let's see how many lies we can count, guys. No pictures. I'm already here. What's going on? I'm kind of hard here. I'm sorry? I'm kind of hard here. What happened? I said, don't mention all my pictures. Why not? Please go away before I call police. Please call police. Incredible. He doesn't even know we're here for him. He wants to call the pop already? You're at an airport. You got a thousand cameras here pointing at you. What are you talking about? Wow, well, huh? You have the business for? You're a very rude gentleman. We're, you're in the bound to get a complaint and get fired. Wow, incredible. Very rude service. I mean, it's just like you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Am I going to make it on you? Am I? Really? Yeah. Okay. You're chill though. Really? Because usually you guys don't like the <laughs> chill talk. Yeah. No, no. Uh, okay. Hey, my my cool. subs, my that's what my subs know me for. That I'll that I'll post good interactions. That I, I don't cool. admit they're good interactions. Hey, I respect that. Interaction. <laughs> yeah. No. No. You're gonna be cool. A lot of guys say they only wanna you know they only wanna post this one you know where. Nah, 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 nah. I'll post good and bad interactions. I appreciate that. Yeah, no. I, I, hey, I appreciate I'm that. I'm sure people are going to highlight you. That's what I gave you props and I said on camera. Yeah, because... and, and I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I do. I do. All right, man. Hey, Thanks for saying, though. Yeah. Take care. All right, you too. Thank you, sir. Hi. Hi, guys. 
Uh, yeah, uh, what services do you offer here at this uh, little office? So we're a baggage claim office. So unless you have a bag, um, do you have any other questions for us? Do I have any other questions? Yeah, unless you want to pick up your bag. Uh, what's the process? Let's say I lost a bag. What do we? What's well, the first step? If you did lose a bag, you'd have to have a clean check for us. Are you a flight attendant? No. Okay. I work here in the bag. Okay. Yeah. So, do you have a clean check for your bag that you lost? Oh, that's right. Baggage services office. Okay. What's the rate of people losing baggages? The rate? Yeah. Let's say 100, 100 passengers uh, air here to Arizona. How many of those passengers lose baggages? I have no idea. Probably like 30. Sorry. Right. Where do those baggages go? Are you guys like stealing them? No, we don't. We are not responsible for any losses of the bag. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, no, we're not. We don't know the process that goes on. Okay. So, does, she, does she know? You, you don't want to talk to me? What What does that mean? You don't want to talk to me? Well, you have a camera in front of my face. No, it's not in front of your face. It's in front of my face, actually. Yeah. No, you don't want to. You're refusing me service? Um, Bye. Based on what? What do you mean by? I'm here to. What kind of rude service is it? Who is she? Can I have her name so I can file a complaint? That's very rude. Well, because you because you you paid. Because if you well, don't, then there would really be no purpose for you guys being. No, we want to know the process. Because somebody I know lost a bag and they're handicapped, so I'm here for them on their behalf. Okay. To find out the uh, the process on what they have to do. All right. You don't want to talk. Yes, this is great customer service at the Burbank Airport. I'll call the police on you for discriminating against me. You're a very rude lady. Because you paid for your lips doesn't mean you can talk to me like that. Okay, you won't have to talk to you, but on the car. All right, so this potato brain accuses them of stealing bags, but he has no influence over the way that people react to him. Oh, no, not at all. And I was joking earlier about the lie thing. But this is the lie right here. The reason I'm in the airport today at all is because I have a handicapped cousin and you're discriminating against the handicapped by not helping me. This is the kind of complaint that he's going to talk to her manager about in a minute and could get her in serious trouble. These guys don't care. They don't care at all. No empathy, no feelings, no anything. They're just frauding slime balls. <laughs> okay, you won't have to talk to me, but since she doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, she, I'm disrespecting her? You just talked about her lips. That has nothing Did you see the way she treated me? Yeah, but that has nothing to do with the service. You're not commenting on her behavior. You're commenting on mine. I'm here on behalf of a handicapped person that lost the baggage. And if you have your information, we can help you. I want the process. I'm understanding the process. I can so tell my handicapped the cousin. Baggage number, we'll go ahead and type it in our system. It tells us where the bag is at, what yeah. station it is okay. at currently, and then we go ahead and let you know if I'll I made here. the flight or not. Okay. Is there like a form with the instructions that I can no. give to my handicapped cousin? Uh, we have an online option that you can use. Okay. I can have the websites. We had a nation with the lady that just went over there. Mm -hmm. She was just being rude. To us for no reason. We're here with, with the. We have official businesses. Okay. And she just said, "We're, we're I'm not going to take care of you guys." And she just walked away. But you guys have cameras in our faces. That's there's nothing's in your face. In your Why face. Are you so keep saying there's something in your face? Guys, it's much closer to my face than it is your face. Right. So just, just in general. Um, when you guys come up with cameras that might make somebody uncomfortable, so maybe that's why they decided not to help you. But we'll go ahead and um, get you guys situated here. Okay. Um, you just needed the business card, and yeah. you're good. Or yeah, the instruction to get to my handicapped cousin, my handicapped uh, cousin, who I'm here representing. I didn't expect that horrible service from that lady. Yeah. Okay. My cousin can't come in here because okay. she, she's handicapped, and I'm trying to help her. Understood. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. We apologize that you had a bad experience with somebody that's else. Fine. That's our business yeah, card yeah. here. Um, you guys can go ahead and use that to okay. get the things taken care of. Yeah, yeah. So th since this is a public uh, place, I, I need her name to file a complaint, maybe with the American with Disabilities Act. The lady that uh, lashed out on me and became so hostile for no reason. I just want to know her name so we can file the proper complaints. Okay. Well, yeah. You guys don't need to speak much? Okay, so we can give you her first name. We can't give out last names here, but That's we can write fine. it down on the card okay. for you. Thank you. Yeah, it was just uncalled for. Thank you. Mm, appreciate it. Yeah, I apologize if it was a bad yeah. yeah, and again, just to reiterate, um, yeah. when some people see cameras, they might just be uncomfortable with that. I apologize if the response wasn't what you No, it's fine. You've been awesome. For, but... Thank you. All right, you guys all thank set? Guys. Yes. All right, thank you. Oh, my. There's so many lies. I almost lost count. Uh, uh, uh.
seriously though, guys, it's not just the individual lies, but the false narrative, the, the narrative that he's building of this entire interaction in and of itself is a total lie. The first woman he spoke to, he asked her what the process was. She explained it to him and he followed that up with, oh, so when the bags disappear, it's because you guys stole them. And at that moment, she's like, oh, okay, this guy doesn't just look like an idiot. He actually is an idiot. And she was done. You don't have a missing bag. You don't have a tag. You have no reason to be here. So then he goes to the next lady and says, well, let me ask her. She's sitting right next to her. She overheard the whole conversation. She knows what this guy's doing. So she doesn't want to have anything to do with it. So what does he turn that into? I just wanted to know the process for my poor handicapped cousin who can't come in here. And this lady refused to serve me. How dare she? It's all a lie. The whole thing is a lie. The whole story is a lie. Disingenuous douche canoes, butter brain douche canoes. Oh, boom, 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 butter brain douche canoes. Oh, baby, butter brain douche canoes. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, he's going to talk to you probably right now. They're actually a lot of just like you're like recording them. <laughs> She's such a hypocrite. Oh my god. No, I saw them. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't got You got to run over the lady. Oh, my body's behind your back. No, sorry. My bad. I said my bad. You were being rude. Welcome to America, lady. <laughs> this is America. We have a right to do this. Just like just like you do. I don't give a fuck. You don't you can leave the country then. He's your boyfriend with them mouth or something? Wow. Oh my god. Do y'all get paid to do this? <laughs> I do get paid to do this. Right. Good money. Thousands. What do you guys hope to? So you guys look, look yeah. funny. We look funny? I like your beard. Oh, yeah. thank you, sir. How are you? Thanks. How's work? We're just hanging out at the airport. We're going to be interested in, you know, taking a flight. Uh, yeah, yeah so. Or? No, we're just interested in taking a flight. Uh, yeah, we're trying to find yeah. out how, like, what's the process for uh, to carry a firearm? Whoa, wait a minute. I thought you just said that the whole reason you came to the airport at all was because your handicapped cousin lost some luggage and you came in there to find out what the process they would have to go through to get their stuff back was. Now you're there because you're taking a flight and you want to know what the process is to carry a firearm onto the plane? Oh my goodness gracious me, ladies and gentlemen, you thought I was joking about how many lies these guys tell her in this audit. Holy crap, they just keep piling them on and piling them on and piling them on and piling them on. Too bad that's reality, Jason Gutterman. But you decided to come into a public space, so I can't help that. No, I'm recording the public employee. He works at the public airport. Private security network. No, he, he's in public. This is the public airport. No, public airport. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a publicly funded airport. Yeah. Is Brian? Well, private or public, he's in public. So whatever his job title is, I don't know. But he's okay with me filming him, as you can see, because he understands the laws of the United States. Like I said, I'm just here to investigate somebody. If it's not you, you have nothing to worry about. But I can't say if it's you or not. It could be him. Do I even have to say anything at this point? <laughs> I'm sorry? I'm a public investigator. Why am I a public investigator? No, but why are you recording me? I've been sent here to uh, do a public investigation. I've been sent here to do a public investigation. But well, I can't say it's undercover. But I'm either investigating the airport, one of the employees, or one of the uh, flyers. Holy crap, hammer sandwich sauce. Are you telling me that the team is taking a commercial flight for this game? All right. Yeah. Can I ask you your calling, sir? No comment. No comment. You understand what I'm doing is completely legal, right? So it's actually none of your business what I'm doing. So he actually caught someone on me for legally video recording in public. Yeah, you're fine right there. You stay on that side. That's okay, fine. yeah, exactly. And you're fine over there, so you don't come over here either. You can stay there. I'm working. So yeah, I'm keep working, sir. We're working too. Don't forget to go deep in people's cavities when you search. 
Remember the first thing he said, guys, we have absolutely no influence on the way people react to us. We just stand there with our cameras, minding our own business, and how they react is how they react. We have nothing to do with it. How about, make sure you search their cavities really deep, buddy. Or earlier when he's like, hey, I guess you guys are the ones stealing the bags. No, they have nothing to do with that. It's not them instigating. They're not baiting. And how about the name? The way he advertises his channel. Look at this right here. For the best public freakouts. That's what he's having. You like and subscribe if you want to see people freak out. No, we're not sitting here trying to advertise our channel as a place where we make people freak out. Man. See, that's just, that's what I'm saying. It's not just the individual lies he tells. His overall narrative is so disingenuous. He's a potato brain douche canoe and a butter brain douche canoe and a scumbag. Yeah, that's why he's hanging out with Casey Camera Boy. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's that for? Yes. What's what for, man? Taking a picture. Uh, video, video, yeah, we're uh, mm -hmm. tourists. Oh, yeah, but you should ask me first because I don't want to be on my face in oh. public. Can we have your permission? Well, you I don't know it this time. Yeah. Please delete the whole thing. No, I will, but we're doing a documentary on the, the whole air airport. Mm -hmm. So, this is the uh, you know, you buy souvenirs, things like that. Yes, and you're working here. So, do you want yeah, to talk, talk to us about this uh, place? Well. I don't know where you're going to put it on, so I refuse to do that. Uh, Netflix. Yeah. Netflix. Yeah, he said it. You heard that, right? Netflix. Yeah. I bet his fans think it's so funny. <laughs> oh, he's hilarious. They ignore the fact that the very first interaction he had where he talked about that woman refusing service to someone who was there to help someone that was handicapped, threatening to go to some kind of complaint or lawsuit with the Americans for Disabilities Act. While he's sitting here playing, I'm going to post this on Netflix games with this lady on the other end of the airport. What's happening with that lady? For all we know, her manager could be reaming her out right now. Uh, they don't care. They don't care. They're too busy playing their stupid games. Anyway, I, I can't handle these douche canoes anymore. I'm leaving. See you later, guys. Take it easy. See you on the next video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all shook up. <laughs> Bye.